Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, I'm Cowboy Jack and today I'm really excited. Do you guys see where we're at today? That's right, we're at Play Oasis in College Station, Texas. They've got a, all kinds of really cool stuff for us to check out inside. I even heard something about sand. You guys wanna go check it out? Come on, let's go. Come on guys, don't be pokey. This is gonna be a whole lot of fun once we get inside here. Wow, see, Play Oasis right there. All right. One of the first things we need to do here when we get to play Oasis is take our shoes off. I can't be wearing these cowboy boots when we're playing and having a good time. Let me take these off real quick. All right, see, now that I've got my cowboy boots off and, whoa, <laughs> we'll just leave those over here. Let's go play. Whoops. All right, come on. Wow. Guys, y'all see what's in here? Look at this. This is incredible. This is just like the beach. There's a whole bunch of sand and a whole bunch of toys. You guys wanna come in here and check this out with me? Wow, that is like sugary fine sand. That feels like Florida or something. I wonder if we'll ever get to go there. Anyways, come on in here. Wow, we've got a real pirate ship here. You can tell it's a pirate ship because of the flag. Whoop, here it is, look at that couple of swords right there on the pirate ship whoa hey by the way do you guys know what a pirate's favorite letter is R. <laughs> wow they have all these cool toys in here wow check out this roller let's see what this does i need to make like a big flat wow that fan sand feels amazing whoa all right Look at that, we've got tracks in the sand. That's like a puppy paw print. That might be a possum. Couple of birds, like a bird there, a bird there. Wow, that's really cool. Huh. I've never played with one of these before. And of course they have really cool dump trucks. Wow, that makes a cool sound. Y'all hear that? Whew, sand everywhere. I'm gonna dump this sand right on those tracks and cover them up. Whew, that was cool. Let me do that one more time. Now we need to cover those tracks. All right. Let's see what other sand toys they have in here. They have a lot of them. Whoa, here's a boat with a helicopter on the back of it. That's really cool. We've seen a couple of helicopters on the show, right? Like when we were with our friends at Memorial Hermann Life Flight in Houston. Wow, that helicopter even comes up. I wonder if he could land right on that pirate ship. All right, Mr. Helicopter, time to get back on your boat. Now, I saw a sand toy over here that looked really, really cool. I wanted to check this out. You guys sit right over here. Look at this. So this thing, has a lot of moving parts. I see this, this spins, and these little things spin too. I bet if we were to dump sand right in the top here, it would move all these other parts down below. Let's give it a shot. Let me find, oh, here's a cup. All right, I got a big cup full of sand. That's really cool. Whoops, I put it in there too fast. Look at this part right up here, watch right here. It's really cool because it sucks the sand down through this funnel. Look at it go, whoops. Let's watch that one more time. <laughs> That's really cool. Let me move this one. There's one more here we need to check out. This thing looks like it's got all kinds of moving parts. Only one way to find out what it does. You guys think I could dump it from really high? This room is made for playing with sand, so we need to play. Whoop. <laughs> See, this thing sp whoa. spins and it tips this. Whoop. This one's a little full of sand over here, but that one's spinning good. 
God, all this sand play makes me want to go to the beach. I mean, this sand is really, really soft and cool. Check that out. Wow. All right, well, let's just leave this sand. Man, there's so many toys in here, so many different things to do, like a rake, all this mess we're making. We could clean it up and make these really cool lines like they do in those Japanese gardens that look really cool. Let me see something real quick. You wanna see if we could draw a cowboy boot in the sand? I'm gonna to try to do it upside down. I'm not really a great artist, but I try hard. Look at that, does that look like a cowboy boot? I think I did pretty good. All right, well, let's cover this up. And let's go see what else they have here to do at Play Oasis. Ooh, I've got a lot of sand in my socks. <laughs> Wow, right over here they have the play gym. They have all these little devices that you can move around and see if you can make a pathway for a ball to get through, kind of like a plumbing system. Look at this, this is really cool. So you have all these different pipes and hoops and stuff, and these are on magnets so you can make your own system. Let's just see what's going on here. If I drop this wooden ball right here, What? That was amazing. Wow, let's move this around a little bit. See what happens if I drop it right here. Hmm. That is so cool. You can make all these different paths. Let's make one a little bit tricky. Hmm. Whoops. Let's see. I need this and this. Now, I'm gonna drop this ball right here. What am I holding here? You guys ready? <laughs> Well, that was cool, but I made this one over here too. Whoops, see, sometimes you have to adjust things. Just like everything we do, when you first do something for the first time, you're not always very good at it, but that's why we practice and get better with time. Whoops. Whoa. See, this wall was a whole lot of fun. You can do all kinds of things with it. I better pick up my mess. I'm gonna put all these balls back in there and let's go see what else there is to do. I mean, there's this whole gym right here that you can climb all over. I don't think it's quite Cowboy Jack size though. A little bit small for me. Whoa, I see something I really love. You see what these are? These are sensory tiles. When you step on them, all the colors kind of go everywhere. You know what I just noticed? These are kind of set up like hopscotch. I'm not very good at hopscotch, but we can give it a shot. How'd I do? <laughs> I think I did pretty good, but I might need to work on it a little bit. <laughs> wow, a train table? Look at all these big trains and these really cool animals. Guys, come down here and look at all these different animals we've got. What is something that looks kind of like a horse has black and white stripes? That's right, a zebra. And right here, one of the fastest animals in the entire world. One of the fastest animals on land, I should say. They're really cool big cats that live in Africa. This is a cheetah. And over here, of course, we've got a tiger. This looks like a Bengal tiger, maybe, because he's got these really cool tiger stripes. But anyways, we're here at the train station. train had a dead end we better leave that one alone let's come over here to this guy because I think he can even go all the way over a bridge better make him turn so he doesn't hit that other train whoops we had a derail let's 
see, and this train's going all the way. Wait a second, wait a second. What is this guy called? He's got two big tusks, a giant gray skinned body, and he lives in Africa. He can use this to spray water at you. What do you think these guys are? That's right, they're African elephants. Wow, that was really cool. But well, you know what else they have? You can play dress up with all these really cool costumes. Like if you wanted to be a pink superhero, a green superhero. Wow, Cowboy Caden has that exact cape. Superman, they even have a Spider-Man one, a fireman's hat. Oh, that's cool. Whew. Hey, wait a second, are you guys laughing at my hair? Is that better? I'm not a fireman, I'm a cowboy. Let me put this back. There's all kinds of cool things to play with. And oh, if there was a fire, you could put it out. <laughs> this is a fire extinguisher, that's really cool. And of course, Cowboy Caden's favorite, a uh, sword. I'm not a very good sword fighter, but I'll put this back. I saw this really cool room right over here. It's completely chock full of big balls to play with. You guys wanna go in there with me? I hope I don't fall down. Whoa, whoa, this is crazy. So they have, uh, hang on a second. This is, it's kind of slippery. <laughs> they have really big, cool bouncy balls that you can play with. They even have basketball hoops on the walls. But if you're good at juggling, check that out. I haven't done this in a long time. Ooh. But there's these little balls. Let's see if I could juggle. You think I could do three? Let's give it a shot. You guys ready? Ooh, that's all I got in me. Guys, come on in here. Don't quit standing outside. <laughs> Look at this. Whoa, that's really cool. <laughs> All right, time out, time out. I'll give you a break. I wanna find one of those basketballs. All right, I got the basketball. I'm gonna see if I can shoot a hoop up there. You guys ready? Air Cowboy Jack. Nope. Whew. Best two out of three, that's fair, right? I made it, Whew. only needed two tries. This is so cool. You could come in here, sit down. Whoa. I mean, they have so many balls in here. This is crazy. I'm not even laying on the ground. I'm actually laying on the balls. Now I gotta see if I can get back up. Cowboy Jack's a little bit older than you guys. <laughs> oh, cool. Just as a side note, I saw this really cool map and I was looking at all these different states we have here in the United States. There's a lot of really cool ones, but this is the best one, right? Wow, Florida is really cool too. They have those pretty beaches all in here. Maybe one day we could go check those out. Look at this. So this looks like a pretty ordinary wall, right? Nope. <laughs> Look at that. This whole wall is made out of sequins. Come up real close. Wow. That is so cool. You could have so much fun on this, just drawing all kinds of stuff. It goes all the way across. My hand is like a magic eraser. You see how this is all silver right now? That's so cool. Whoops, went the wrong way with it. You could even write a message. Let's see here. Whoops, it's a little bit tricky. There's a big heart I drew, or I tried to draw anyway. Look at that. So there's a heart, and then I could write. Well, you could write anything you want in there. I was gonna try to write Play Oasis because I just love this place, but I'm not a very good artist. I just wanted to show y'all this wall because I think it's so fun. It goes all kinds of different directions. Whoa, the bottom ones are really cool. Look at that. You could even draw with your foot if you're really good. Look at that. Whoa, and see if they didn't want this wall to be black, they could just make the whole thing silver just like this. All 
All right, I gotta stop, but this is addicting. This is so fun to do. You can be all kinds of creative and make streaks through it. All right, well, let's quit playing around with the sequence wall and go check out the other things they have. Whew, okay. Look at that wall right there. That's really cool. You guys see what these are pieces of? Looks like different dinosaurs. Let's see if we can solve this puzzle. This looks like a stegosaurus right here. I love stegosauruses. So here's his head. Let's see. Like that. There. And there, look, we have a whole stegosaurus. Uh-oh, I see a velociraptor. I need to figure out how to put him together because Cowboy Caden really loves velociraptors. Oop, is that a piece of the velociraptor? I gotta find some feet for him. Where's his feet? Hmm, 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 hmm. I think I put him together wrong. I made him a new dinosaur. <laughs> oh, I see Triceratops. I can work on Triceratops. He's blue. A little bit easier. Hmm, I thought. Well, golly, these puzzles are harder than I thought. Oops, sorry, Triceratops. Let's scoot over a little bit. Now we're making progress. I need a Triceratops tail. I think I see it. Is that how his tail goes? How's his tail go? Hmm. Are we missing feet? One, two, three, four. Anyways, that's almost a whole Triceratops. I'm not very good at these puzzles, but if you came here, you can practice and try real hard and see all the different dinosaurs you can create. This guy. Well, I'm just really having a hard time with these dinosaurs. Maybe you guys could even tell me who that is. I don't know which dinosaur that is. And then I have a piece of this guy. I think that goes together. A whole playhouse built out like a bakery. That's cool. Hey, this looks a little familiar. This looks kind of like what Cowboy Caden has. I know I keep saying that. Oh, these windows are a little bit different. Wait a second. Maybe I didn't put it together just right. <laughs> Look at that. Somebody could work in there and then they have all these different cool sweets to, that they've made inside. Like these cupcakes. Whoa, top comes off. Wow, let's check out the art room. Look at that. So this is a whole room dedicated to really cool art. I think. Cowboy Jack doesn't know how to work the baby gate. It's baby proof. Come on in here. Look at all this beautiful artwork that little cowboys and cowgirls have made. Wow, that's incredible. Come look at this stuff. I mean, I see a really cool butterfly right here. That's really pretty. It's got that pink, blue, and brown on it. That looks like a dinosaur. And the person who made its name is Knox. That's cool. I see a really pretty smiley face. Something that says, I love you. That's very nice. Wow. And all this stuff, like here's a big sink where you can wash up once you get all dirty because here's the art station, see? Put all your paints down here, grab a brush, and you can just start painting. I'm not gonna paint because I wanna leave this for the cowboys and cowgirls that are coming. That's really, really fun. What a cool place. And you even have a little artist stool right here. Pull up a seat, hang out, and make some beautiful artwork for whoever you'd like to make some for. Wow, over here they have all kinds of different things, like these puppets. These puppets are really cool. I saw this fox. Whoop, let me see if I can get my fox hand in there. Look at that. Hey, Mr. Fox, how's it going today? Pretty good, I'm having a great time. You are, that's awesome. Hey, what's your favorite show to watch? Cowboy Jack. Hey, Mr. Fox likes Cowboy Jack. That definitely wasn't me saying that, that's crazy. <laughs> Wow, they have all this cool stuff to play with, like magnifying glasses. Look at that. Can you guys see me? Hello. <laughs> all right. 
And then they have, ooh, this was one of my favorite things when I was a little cowboy. You guys know what this is called? This is called an Etch-A-Sketch pad. You can take it and draw all over it. Let me see here. Hold on, hold on. Whew. Let me try one more time. Look, I wrote, hi, mom. <laughs> All right, let me put this back. Got to always put up our messes. We don't want to leave a mess for anybody else. Ooh, a fidget popper. These are really cool. Cowgirl Addison really likes them. You can sit here and poke them all. They make funny noises. Wow. This has like every color on it too. It's very colorful. All right. And over here they have all kinds of cool blocks. Wow. If you wanted to build something, you could sit here. I know what I want to build. I want to build a ramp because I saw a car. So you could build all kind of stuff. Looky here, this is like my ramp. He's gonna go wah, jump all the way across. That was so cool. <laughs> you can build all kind of things. Maybe like a bridge. Hmm. That kind of looks like a train maybe, like the front of it there, and then here's the engine. I don't know, you have to use your imagination. You can build all kinds of different things. And they even have these blocks with little, like, like if this was a train, here's a window for the operator. Hmm. And you know what I like to do when I'm building stuff, is be real careful, you wouldn't want to, Oh man, I knocked down my train that I built. <laughs> Well, we were about done here anyways. I need to pick up all these pieces and put them back. It's like we always talk about. It's not nice to leave a mess for others. We always pick up after ourselves. We're Texans, right? Go. Put these here, the little car right there. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. Good jump. <laughs> all right. Hey, look at this globe here. Have you guys ever looked at a globe before? Let's take this down and get a cool, close look at it. So, we live in the United States, in the state of Texas to be exact. So Texas is right there, see? That's Dallas, Houston. We're kind of like right over here. We're in College Station, Texas today. But this is a topographical map, so it shows the major mountain ranges. And as you can see right here, the Rocky Mountains, the Sierras, right out here in California. Way up here is Alaska. You see how close Alaska is to the North Pole all the way up here? And keep going around, you come to Russia and Asia. Africa is a really cool continent. South America is just below us. They have a lot of really cool mountains there. And then there's this one floating out way down here. I have a lot of friends that live over here. This is the great, amazing country and, and continent of Australia. Wow, it sits out in the middle of the ocean, kind of all by itself. So it takes a long, long time to get there, but once you're there, they have really cool things like kangaroos and all kinds of stuff. All right, cowboys and cowgirls, who wants to go fishing? I've got this really cool spinning rod here. It's got its own reel on it and everything, and I've got all these fish. I know cowboy Caden loves to go fishing, and so does cowboy Carter. Hey, cowboy Carter, but let's do a little bit of fishing here and see what we can come up with. I really want to catch a green fish. Oh, oh I got too excited. Let me see here. Oh, I caught him. Look at that, that's really cool. That fish is green, look at the number on him. You guys know what number that is? Yeah, that's the number three. Let's see if I could catch a yellow, I don't see any yellow fish. I see this orange fish here. He's a little bit yellowish. Oh, got him too. That's right. Hey, check out what number he's got on him. Yeah, he's a orange number four fish. There's all kinds of different tools you can use. You don't always have to use a fishing pole. Cowboy Caden likes to always talk about using a net to catch baby grass carp. Let's see, none of these really look like grass carp, but I would love to catch a purple colored fish today. Ah, I got him. Look at that. He's a really cool purple fish with the number one on him. All right, well I better throw all these fish back in the water. 
I don't want them to get hurt or anything. All right, thanks for hanging out with me, fish. Put this up and get it ready for the next cowboys and cowgirls to use. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Wow, we've had such a great time here at Play Oasis in College Station, Texas. We did everything from play in the ball pit to play with the train table. We went in the art room. We built some dinosaurs on the magnet board. My head is spinning. It's been a crazy time. I need to cool off a little bit. Whew, I mean, this Texas heat is not... Hey, you laughing at my hair? Okay. <laughs> and I'm glad you had fun with me because I know I had a blast. But until next time I see you, yee Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, I'm Cowboy Jack and today I'm really excited. Do you guys see where we're at? That's right, we're at IGI Playground in the Woodlands, Texas. We're gonna have a whole lot of fun checking out the playground, but we're also gonna learn some fun facts about a few of the states in this great country we call the USA. You guys wanna come along with me? Come on, let's go. Woo, this is gonna be a whole lot of fun, guys. This place is incredible. Wow. Right when you first walk through the door, you see this big old snack bar where you can get all kinds of goodies and good stuff for the parents too. But then you check in and get all paid up and you come in here and there's a million things to climb and play on. I am really excited to get in there. All right, well, you know what? I can't go in there with my cowboy boots on. I mean, I love wearing them, but this is really a soft place and we don't want to be stomping around in these big old clod hoppers. I better sit down and take them off. Let's find a good chair. Ooh, I like this chair right here. It's kind of little for Cowboy Jack. <laughs> wow, you don't want to be sniffing these boots. Anyway, all right guys, well, we're gonna get in there. We're gonna have a lot of fun, but we're also gonna learn about a few of the states. I'm really excited. We have 50 states in the entire United States, and we're gonna talk about maybe about 10 of them today. Wow. This place is fit for a cowboy. This is really cool. Where should we start at? You guys think we ought to go this way? This way? This way? Which way? I'm gonna go this way. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, check out this play structure. This thing is really cool. You could climb all over this, get in there and pretend like it's a fort. This thing is really, what is that on the ground? You guys see that? Come take a look at what that is. Wow. If you guys don't know, this is the state of Florida, the Sunshine State, one of my favorite states. They have absolutely beautiful beaches. The capital city is Tallahassee right there. They do a lot of NASA work out of Florida. That's where they launch a lot of the space shuttles. It is a really beautiful state. They call this part here the Panhandle. And it kind of looks like a Panhandle, but the state of Florida is actually a peninsula. See, this jets out into the Gulf of Mexico and then the Atlantic Ocean on this side. It is a really cool place to visit. But that was fun to learn about Florida, but I gotta check out this play place, right? All right, let's keep exploring, come on. Whoa, there's a swing here, that's really cool. Check that out, you could sit here and swing all your cares away. That's a really cool swing. Can you guys see what color that is? It's kind of an orangey red, kind of in between. I'm just gonna call it red because I like the color red. Wow, this area is cool. You can climb all over the place in here. Wow, I feel like a puppy dog. Gets kind of dizzying doing that. I need to stop for a second and kind of cool off. Mm -hmm. Hey, are you guys laughing at my hair? All right, I'll put my hat back on and we'll keep exploring. You guys want to go up a level and see what's going on up there? I think we can go right over here. Right over here, there's stairs. Whoa. 
Hold on a second, I found a trampoline. Whoa! <laughs> Trampolines are really cool. They're really bouncy. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! This trampoline is fit for a cowboy. You can have all kinds of fun in here with your friends, jumping all around and bouncing. But I'm looking around, there is things all over the place, just going everywhere. I hope we don't get lost. Whew, we better keep exploring. Wow. You guys see what that is? That's a really big slide. I'll let you guys go down first. All right, here I come, cowboy down the slide. Yeehaw! Whoa, that was really cool. Talk about a fast moving slide. That was faster than I expected. Let's keep on exploring. Wow, you guys wanna look at all the colors here? It's a really colorful place. Come here, you can step with me and we'll say the colors together. So I'm stepping on yellow, orange, brown, green, and yellow. Whew, now I've gotta go through these tumblers. Whoa, that was crazy. Here we go. All right, a little yellow balance beam. You guys think you can make it across the yellow balance beam? Come on, you can do it. Good job, I knew you had it in you, that is so cool. Hey, wait a second. Look what I found here. Wow, that's right, this is Oklahoma. That's Texas's neighbor right to the north of us. It is really cool. We share a border along the Red River. Capital city is Oklahoma City, go figure. Hey, there was a really cool musical made about Oklahoma. You know what it was called? Oklahoma. <laughs> All right, well, let's keep exploring. Now, we have a decision to make. We can either go straight back this way or we can go this way. Which way do you go? That way? I think you guys just wanted to see me go through the slide. All right, come on. Here goes nothing. Hey, I made it. Wow. Whew. Let me turn around. It's a little tight quarters for a cowboy. Now you guys better come on through. Come on. Whew. I knew you guys could make it across that. If I could do it, you could do it. That was really fun. Let's keep exploring. Wow. Wait a second. Wait a second. You guys, look what I found. That's Texas, the Lone Star State. Boy, Texas is absolutely my favorite state in the entire union, because it's my home. That's where I was born and raised, and where I'm raising Cowboy Caden and Cowgirl Addison. The capital city is Austin, and we live right over here on the Gulf Coast in Houston, Texas. This is the Piney Woods region, the hill country. We have a panhandle too. And then here out here is like Big Bend area, way out west it's really beautiful out west boy texas is the one of the really biggest states it's pretty big if you take a look at this compared to the other ones that we've found anyways wow i could talk about texas all day i mean they even have a boot and a cowboy hat on there hello you see who i am all right guys let's keep exploring now i see a really cool slide here hmm you think we ought to slide down it wait a second it's big enough we could slide down together you guys want to do that let me get it right over here. All right, you ready? One, two, three. Yeehaw! Whoa! That was really cool. Boy, I see a big pirate ship right over there. What is that about? Look at that. That looks really cool. See all these big windows in it? Oh, you guys stay right there. Whoa! There's a ball pit in here. Hang on, there's these really cool windows. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> Get in here, guys. This is really cool. Look, you come to these stairs right over here. Wait a second, another state? What is this one? 
Wow, this is the state of Oregon. Oregon's a really cool state up in the Pacific Northwest. It's on the west coast of the United States. The capital city is Salem, Oregon. They have all these beautiful pines out there because it's the Pacific Northwest. That's where a lot of people say Bigfoot lives, but I don't know. But boy, it is absolutely beautiful up there. The coast is incredible, but so much wildlife. It's really cool. All right, enough about that. Let's get in this ball pit. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. This is really fun. Wow. You guys better stop throwing balls at me. Wow, this is a whole lot of fun. And I see there's a slide that ends right here into the ball pit. I bet we could find our way to the top way up there. Take a look up there. All right, let's see how we can find our way up there. Let's see here. I see some stairs right over here. Wow. Are you guys coming? Come on. Come on, guys. Oh, we're back at where we crawled through just a minute ago. Let's see, let's see. Wow, this thing looks pretty spiky. That's cool. It has a whole bunch of colors on it. Like I see orange, brown, white, blue. That's Cowboy Caden's favorite color. Red, that's Cowboy Graham's favorite color. Wow, there's a lot of cool colors on here. Pink, that's Cowgirl Addison's favorite color. Which one is your favorite color? You gotta pick, there's a whole lot of them. Oh wow, look what I found sitting right by me. That's the great state of Georgia, the peanut capital of the whole United States. They grow a whole lot of peanuts there in Georgia. Did you know Georgia was actually the third state to join the United States back when it was forming as a country? The capital city is Atlanta. And wow, there's a whole lot to see in Georgia. You have everything from really pretty prairies all the way up to mountains and things like that. But whew, enough talking about Georgia, even though it is the peanut capital, which is really cool. Let's keep on exploring and see if we can find that slide. Here we go. Whoa. Guys, this is kind of wobbly. You think you can make it across? I think you can. Come on, guys. Come on across. I know you can do it. It's the cowboy way. You're doing great so far. Wow, you're doing incredible. All right, you made it all the way across. Congratulations. Now, I think we're getting even closer to that slide. Wow, wow, wow. Wait a second. Guys, I'm finding states all over the place. This state right here is Idaho. Idaho's an incredible state. The capital city is Boise. Do you guys know what Idaho is known for? Yeah, they're known for their potatoes. They have the best potatoes in all of the United States. Perfect climate for growing potatoes. But you know what's cool about Idaho? Is that you can drive all the way up and it's absolutely covered in mountains. But there's, there's mountains that divide it. Like there's a lot of flat land on this side. There's a lot of really cool mountains on this side. It's such a diverse and unique state. There's a really cool place in, in Idaho called Lava. And that's where a natural hot spring is. They built a whole resort around it. You can actually go swimming in the water that's warmed up by nature. How cool is that? All right, well, let's keep exploring. I think this is the way to the slide. I think we're getting closer to the slide. Woo -wee. We are up high. You guys wanna come up here? Come on. This is so cool. Wait a second. I found our friends to the east. This is the state of Louisiana. I absolutely love it. Le bon temps roule, that's what they say. That means let the good times roll. The capital city is Baton Rouge, but we all know Louisiana for New Orleans down here right on the coast. It's a really incredible state. You know what's unique about Louisiana? Unlike all other states, 
because they have such history with the French ownership of their state, instead of having counties like you and I have in our home states, they have parishes. Parishes are basically like, city, like counties, but they call them parishes because they're keeping up that tradition. It's really cool. But wow, what a cool state. It kind of looks like a letter, doesn't it? What letter does that look like to you guys? Yeah, it looks just like the letter L. But boy, best fishing, great hunting, great, incredible food. Wow, what a cool place. All right, guys, we're at the top of this really, really twisty side. Who wants to go first, you or me? You guys wanna play paper, rock, scissors for it? Okay, let's give it a shot. Paper, rock, scissors, shoot. You guys made rock, that means you win. You get to go first. All right, I'll wait here. Wow, y'all made it all the way to the bottom. I guess I'll come on down there too. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Whoa! That was really fun. You know what? I brought Louisiana with me because I wouldn't want to leave a friend at the top. All right. Boy, that slide and that ball pit were really fun. Let's keep on exploring. Woo, all these hanging down things. Don't let them hit you. Don't let them get you. Oh, they almost got you. All right. Wow. Hey, wait a second. This is a really amazing state. Now, we're not looking at the actual shape of it. This is a map of it. All these different islands make up the island state of Hawaii. Hawaii was actually one of the last states to be added to the United States. And it's literally a chain of islands out in the Pacific. It is such a cool place. They grow a lot of pineapples there. Hawaii is the largest consumer of spam in all of the United States. Now that seems kind of unique, but you know why? It's because the people of Hawaii fell in love with spam during World War II, and it just stuck with them. I actually like spam a lot, but a lot of people don't. Anyways, Hawaii is so cool. There's a trampoline in there. You guys, why don't you guys go in there and jump and I'll stay right here and watch you. Wow, you guys are bouncing really high. Really, really high. Wow, that's cool. Okay, now stop, stop. Good job, you're really good at bouncing on that trampoline. All right, let's see if we can find any other states. This is really cool. Hey guys, wow, I found another state. You guys see what state this is? That's South Dakota. It is a really cool state. Way up, really close. I mean, it's more than halfway towards Canada. Pierre is the capital city. And one of my favorite things about South Dakota, besides the obvious, like the badlands and really cool things to look at, is that that's where the home of Mount Rushmore is. Mount Rushmore is where this really amazing artist carved the faces of four of the nation's founders right into the mountainside. It's really incredible to look at. In fact, I'll put a picture of it right here for you guys to see. Isn't that really cool? All right, well, let's keep exploring. I feel like we found a lot of states today. Wow. Hoo wee Boy, hey, wait a second. I already found another one. You guys know what state this is? This is one of my favorite states. This is really cool. This is Tennessee. The capital city is Nashville, and they have a guitar right on this map. You know why? They call Nashville Music City. Boy, there's a lot of music that comes out of Nashville. That's like the home of country music. Back when Elvis and Jerry Lee Lewis and people like the Big Bopper were getting their starts, it all happened right out of Tennessee. And it's a really beautiful city right up in the mountains. Well, not the city itself, but there's mountains all around. Tennessee is a very diverse, really cool state. They have a lot of Appalachia there. Ooh, we could talk about Tennessee all day, but let's keep on going. The balance beam. All right, guys, let's find our way back to the slide down. Wow, here we are. I collected some of these states. Let's go ahead and slide these down to the bottom. Ooh, look at that, Texas almost won, go figure. You guys wanna slide down again? I'll go first this time. 
All right, get on down here. <laughs> wow, that looks really fun. Do you guys have a good time here? All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Wow, what an adventure we've had today here at IGI Playground in the Woodlands, Texas. I had an absolute blast playing all around this place. And then not only did we have fun, we also learned about all those states. I hope you can remember some of those facts and keep them with you, because it's really fun to learn, especially while we play. So anyhow, I hope you had a blast today, because I know I did. But until I see you next time, yeah! Hey, come on, let's go. Let's all go. Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, I'm Cowboy Jack, and today I'm so excited. You know what I love to do? I love to jump. I'm kind of like a kangaroo cowboy. And today, do you see where we're at? Yeah, that's right. We're at Altitude Trampoline Park in Spring, Texas. They have a whole bunch of trampolines and activities for us to do. And we're also going to learn the Texas ABCs. Do you guys know what the Texas ABCs are? We're gonna learn the regular ABCs, but we're gonna correlate each and every letter to something about the great state of Texas. It's gonna be a whole bunch of fun. Come on, let's go get started. Come on. All right, here we go. Whoa, look at how big this place is. This is huge. It's enormous in here. That's so much fun. And there's trampolines almost everywhere. All right, well, here I am. And look, they gave us a pair of special socks. These socks have rubber footings on them, and that keeps you extra safe on the trampolines. You wouldn't want to jump with just regular old socks on. So let's go ahead and grab these and get going. Just like a lot of places that we come to, I can't be wearing my big old cowboy boots all around. I mean, look at them. They're fun and I like them, but I wouldn't want to jump in cowboy boots on a trampoline. Let's go take them off. Wow, these are really cool. Check this out, look. It even says altitude on it because that's where we are today. Altitude Trampoline Park in Spring, Texas. All right, well, I'm gonna put these on. All right, I got my magic socks on and we're good to go. All right, cowboys and cowgirls, now that I got my fancy new socks on, all we have left to do is go jump and have a good time. Wow, do you guys see what this says? Extreme dodgeball. So this is the trampoline dodgeball court. Let's go check it out. Whoa, look at this. It's all protected by a net because we're gonna be throwing balls around and jumping all over the place. Whoa, this is really cool. You can jump really high. Whoa, I wasn't expecting it to be that bouncy. It's super duper bouncy. And look, you can grab a ball. Let me grab a couple of them. Whoa, do you guys see what color these balls are? This one is orange, and this one is blue. Wow, blue, that's Cowboy Caden's favorite color. All right, well, let me jump around a little bit here. Whoa, it goes a lot faster than I expected. <laughs> wow, so this would be really fun. You guys wanna see me pretend like I'm playing dodgeball? So if you're playing dodgeball, you'd be over here, and your opponent would be on that side. And so you'd grab some of these balls and you get a good jump going. Jump over here and then you can go Wah! Boy. and you have to see if you can hit your opponent. That's really cool. You guys want to see me do this? Watch. Trick shot. <laughs> that dodgeball is really fun. These trampolines are really cool. This backside kind of looks like a ramp. Let me see what that's all about. Whoa, <laughs> that was really cool. <laughs> you can get up here. <laughs> Ooh, that was a little bit of a surprise. That was a big jump. 
but I could jump down from here and see if I could make it all the way to the other side. You guys want to come with me? All right, are you guys ready? Let's see how this goes. I'm a cowboy, not a kangaroo, but I'm going to give it a shot. Whoa. <laughs> hey, I think I was pretty good at that. I was a lot better than I thought I'd be. Whoa. I caught it. <laughs> how am I for an action cowboy? Whew, it's kind of hard work. All right, well, if we were playing dodgeball, it'd look something like this. <laughs> All right, well, let's go check out the other activities they have here. Wow, that dodgeball was really, really fun. It was actually kind of a lot of work. Cowboy Jack wasn't expecting that much hard work and jumping. But right now, we're going to start our Texas ABCs. It's like the regular ABCs, but it's Texas style. I put our first letters right here on this table so we can sit down and take a look. All right. Well, do you guys know what the alphabet starts with? It starts with an A. A is for armadillo. Wow. Armadillos are these little creatures that crawl all around Texas, and they have a shell of armor on their outside. They're really neat. B, B is for blue bonnets. Blue bonnets are the state flower of Texas, and they're real pretty every spring, especially around like Brenham. C, my favorite. C is for cowboy boots. I wore my cowboy boots in here today, but I had to take them off so I could have my safety socks on. D is for delicious. Boy, there's a lot of delicious foods here in Texas. Look at this picture. That's a great looking piece of pecan pie. And pecans are actually the, the state tree of Texas. Pecan trees anyways. The state tree of Texas is a pecan tree. Yeah, but we make pies out of them. They're really, really tasty. And then E. E stands for Enchanted Rock. Have you guys ever heard of Enchanted Rock? It's a big natural granite formation right outside of Fredericksburg. So you're looking all around and all of a sudden there's this huge dome of granite. It's really neat. It gets super hot in the summertime and when it cools down at night, it'll actually hiss. But it's, it doesn't have a mouth. It's just the rock actually cooling down from the day's heat. It's really cool. That's why they call it Enchanted Rock. All right, well, let's get back to playing. So that was fun. As far as the Texas alphabet goes, we covered A, B, C, D, and even E. All right. You gotta be careful going upstairs. You know the best way to stay safe when you're walking upstairs? I call it the three point rule. You have two feet on the ground and one foot on a handrail at least. See, I got up here with no problems. Wait a second. Have you guys ever seen that show American Ninja Warrior? It looks like they kind of have some training gear over here for it. Cowboy Jack is no action hero, but I can give it a shot, right? All right, let's see what we've got here. Whoa. So this is like a big foam pit. And if you fall off of this beam, you'd fall into the foam pit. I don't know if I can balance all the way across or not, but I'm going to give it a shot. Whoa. Let's see. If you were here with your friends, you could pick this up and battle each other off until you fell into the foam pit. That's really cool. Whoa. Uh-oh. Obstacle. You guys think I can make it across? <laughs> Look at that. I made it all the way across. That's so cool. Look at this one. This one looks a little bit more challenging. This is a balance beam that actually spins. That's going to be a big challenge to go across. Do you guys think I can do it? All right. Only one way to find out, right? Well, here goes nothing. I think I'm going to try from the other side. So my right foot is first. Let me go back across here real quick. All right, guys, well, here I go. This thing's gonna spin on me, so I hope I can make it. Whoa! <laughs> well, that wasn't that bad. Let me try it again. These big foam blocks are so cool. Ooh. 
Whoa. <laughs> it's a lot harder than it looks. I don't know if I can do it. I'll give it one last shot. Here's a purple block for you. All right, I'm gonna just go real fast and see if I can make it, okay? You guys ready? <laughs> that was so fun. I don't think Cowboy Jack is meant to make it across. Let me get out of here. Whoa. Look at this over here. It's called Walk the Wall. You guys want to check it out? I think the point of this one is you go from side to side and see if you can jump up the wall. I don't know if I can do it. I think I could get this one pretty easy, but we're just going to have to try and find out. Whoa. This one's super bouncy too. Let me see if I can go jump over there. Whew. Look at that. <laughs> I made it up here, no problem. Uh-oh, how do I get down? Guess you gotta jump. Whoa! <laughs> nope! <laughs> Wow, this walk the wall jumping thing is a lot of fun. I wasn't so lucky getting on that side, but let me try this one one more time. Ha! That one's easy to get up on. And like I said, only one way to get down. You guys ready? I'm gonna come down this one and I'm gonna give that wall one more shot. I gotta time myself better this time. Nope. <laughs> I guess Cowboy Jack just wasn't meant to get up there. But these trampolines are a lot of fun. Whew. Whew. You guys know what? I think I saw our next set of alphabet letters. Let's go check them out. Come on guys, I'm the one doing all the work. I've been jumping all over. You gotta keep up with me. <laughs> Cowboy Jack is out of breath. Probably be a good time to take a deep breath. You guys want to take a deep breath with me? Whew. All right, let's do it. One, two, three. Whew. Yeah, I feel better. Let's go ahead and get through these cards. All right, so we already went through A, B, C, D, E. Now let's go through the next letters. What comes after E? Yeah, F. And in Texas, F stands for football. We sure do love our football. It's a whole lot of fun, and you can always know where a football game's going on by the Friday night lights. G, what does G stand for in Texas? I'll tell you, guitar. <laughs> Us cowboys love our guitar and our country music. Even Cowboy Jack knows how to play the guitar. I'm a little shy, so you probably won't ever see it, but I do know how. <laughs> H, H stands for horned lizard. We call them horny toads here in Texas. That's actually the state reptile of Texas. They're really neat. I, <laughs> this one's really good. I stands for ice cream. You guys see who that is? That's bluebell ice cream. I think that's even homemade vanilla, my favorite. J stands for jackrabbit. Jackrabbits are all over the state, all the way from the beaches out to the desert. They're really fast rabbits with huge ears and really big feet. All right, well, that's this segment of the Texas alphabet. Let's go play a little bit more. All right, cowboys and cowgirls, I'm in here at Wipeout. It's kind of like American Ninja Warrior or something like that. We have to jump over this obstacle. Do you guys think Cowboy Jack can do it? I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'm no action hero, I'm just a cowboy, but I'll give it my best shot. Wow, so see, this thing swings around, and when it gets to me, I have to jump over it. Whoa! I made it. <laughs> That's a big surprise. I didn't expect to make it. <laughs> now I'm getting daring. Uh oh. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> Maybe I'll do better this time. Whoa. <laughs> you guys think I can make it all the way around? <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Let's see if I got it in me one more time. Whoops, keep jumping on that. That's not the spark you're supposed to land on. <laughs> Guys, I made it all the way around. 
That was a lot of fun. Uh-oh. <laughs> I gotta think fast. All right, let me get out of here before I fall down. <laughs> we made it to the big bouncy part of the park. Do you guys want to come bounce with me? All right, let's go. Whoa. Hey, there you are. Let me get back over there. Whoa. <laughs> This is so much fun. <laughs> There's some trampolines on the walls. You guys want to go check those out? Let me see what these are all about. You might want to stand back. Whoa! <laughs> that was really neat. You can jump all around in here. It's crazy. All right, come on guys, let's go. Whoa! <laughs> oh, wipe out! Whoa! <laughs> that was funny. All right, let's keep going. Quit laughing at me. All right, we made it to the end, and I only fell once. <laughs> Whoa, you guys look like you're going super, super high. All right, guys, I'm gonna go down to that end and come all the way back. You guys stay put. Wait a second. You can't just stay down there. Come on back over here with me. No, not just walking. I wanna see some jumping. There you go. All right, let's go all the way back and then we'll go find our next set of ABCs. You guys ready? Whew. That was a fast way to get back. All right, let's go find those ABCs. All right, I found the next part of the Texas alphabet. So think back, we've already done A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. So what comes after J? K. This is one of my favorite things about Texas. K stands for kolaches. Do you guys know what kolaches are? Traditionally, it's a fruit-filled pastry, but here in Texas, we like to call a, a pastry with sausage in the middle a kolache. There's actually another name for it, but I'm not very good at pronouncing it. L, L stands for Lone Star. You guys already know Texas is the Lone Star State. It's because we have one star on our flag. M, look at that. Do you guys see what that is? It's a really pretty butterfly, a monarch butterfly. Every single year, the monarch butterflies migrate right through Texas, and you can see them come right through in like Uvalde and Del Rio. They're really pretty. N, N stands for NASA. We've got Space Center Houston here in Houston. It's really cool. They have some old space shuttles there, and there's a whole lot of scientists that work around the clock to keep NASA going. And then O, you guys know what O stands for in Texas? A lot of people think about Texas, they think about this oil <laughs> we have a lot of oil rigs here in texas because we're extremely rich in natural resources it's so great for our state's economy wow that was so neat all right well let's go see what else there is to play on around here i know we're not done just yet whoa this looks like some really long trampolines that would be like where if you knew how to do some really cool flips and jumps you could come in here and do that cowboy jack doesn't know any flips or jumps so we're just going to leave that one alone <laughs> All right, let's go up here. Remember, stairs, three points for safety. So two feet on the ground and one hand on the handrail. Wow, there's a whole lot to do in here. Looks like you can jump into this ball pit. You guys want to see me jump into the foam pit? All right, here goes nothing. Whoa, that was really cool. It's actually kind of comfortable in here. I might just stay a while. Let's see here. Wait a second, it's not time for a nap. We still have more to play on. Let's get out of here. I think you guys should try jumping in the foam pit. Come on, go ahead. Get in there. Whoa, that looked really fun. Did you guys like it? <laughs> All right, quit playing around in there. Come on out. <laughs> Come on guys. If Cowboy Jack can do it, I know you can. <laughs> Whoa, what else do they have here? Do you guys see what that is? That looks like a big rock climbing wall. That's so neat. 
I've been rock climbing once before. I guess I could try it again. Let's just see what we got here. Ooh, this is a little bit tricky. Whew. All right, I don't think I can do it. I'm just gonna jump off. Whoa. <laughs> that was so cool. Here I am in another foam pit. <sighs> like I said, it's actually really comfortable in here. I kind of like it. I wish I had a bed this soft. All right, let me get out. <laughs> Whoa, I'm sinking down further. Wow, guys, I found our next set of Texas alphabet cards. Whew. So we've done A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. So let's think about what comes after O. Yeah, P. So our first card is P, which in Texian stands for prickly pear. These cactuses are all over the state and they're really pretty to look at. They get these prickly pear blooms on them that are really pretty, but they have sharp spines so you don't want to touch them. The next letter is Q. What does Q stand for in Texas? That's queso. Queso, if you haven't had it, it's a really tasty cheese dip. You put tortilla chips in it and you eat it. You don't have to use tortilla chips, you can eat it just on everything if you want. R stands for rattlesnake. Boy, whenever you see a rattlesnake, you need to turn around and run away. They're not very nice snakes. They have this rattle on their tail and they shake it to make a whole lot of noise. S stands for sweet tea. Sweet tea is a really tasty drink. It's sweetened with sugar though. There's a lot of sugar in it. So you wanna make sure you only drink a little bit. Drink too much, you'll get a tummy ache. And then tea, everybody knows what this is. You guys know what it is? That's a tumbleweed. These are all over West Texas. It's a plant that whenever the seeds are ready, it'll break loose of the root and the wind will just blow it all around. That's really cool. Tumbleweeds. All right, well, let's go see what else we can find. Wow, guys, well, I'm just about jumped out. We've jumped on a whole lot of different things, but now they have something even crazier here. Take a look at that. That's an arcade. Let's go take a look at what they've got. Whoa, air hockey. Boy, I used to be really good at air hockey. This is a game where there's a puck on the table and the air keeps it hovering around and you just stand like this and see how good you are at making a goal on your buddy's side right over there. Wow, and then they have this big Jurassic Park game. You guys like dinosaurs? I love dinosaurs. Wow, this is a big game. Look at that T-Rex right up there. And then here's another one, Cruisin' Blast. Boy, when I was a little cowboy, there was a game called Cruisin' USA, and it was a whole lot of fun. I think this is like the modern version of it. I'm a little bit out of date because I'm a big kid. <laughs> wow, they have all kinds of cool stuff here. Hey, we didn't finish with our Texas ABCs. Let's go find the rest of them. Let's see. They've got to be around here somewhere. Oh, here they are. <laughs> wow, check this out. All right. So we've done a lot of letters so far. You guys want to go through them? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, and then what comes after T? U. In Texas, this is a real important one. This is U for umbrella. Umbrellas keep the sun right off of you because it gets really hot here. You can also see a lot of different colorful umbrellas up and down the river walk in San Antonio. After U, we've got the letter V. See this guy? He's kind of like a cowboy. Vaquero starts with a V. Vaquero is actually just Spanish for cowboy. That's really cool. W stands for windmill. You'll see these all around the countryside. We use them to get water out of the ground to fill up uh, troughs and things for cows to drink out of so they make sure they have plenty of water. X, well, this one's a little bit tricky in Texas. We don't have a lot of X's. Wait, George Strait said all of his X's live in Texas. Okay, but anyways, look at this. X, we use that for Tex-Mex. Tex-Mex is really tasty food we have all over the state. It's a mixture, like a fusion, of Mexican food and Texian food. We call it Tex-Mex. A lot of enchiladas, fajitas, and things like that. It's really tasty. 
why we use why when we say hey y'all <laughs> all the cowboys in texas gotta say y'all that's just what we say and it starts with a y and then z this is another tricky one but we have a county here in texas called zapata county it's down in south texas right along the rio grande river and it is absolutely beautiful down there all right well look at that we made it all the way through all of our texas abcs that's so cool I guess I don't need these anymore. Wait a second. We don't just throw things around. We're Texans. Let's pick them up and keep it nice and clean for everybody else to enjoy. <laughs> that was silly. All right, guys. Well, let's go back over here. This has been such a fun adventure. I hope you guys had a really good time. Looks like there's a long way. You guys take a look. The front is a long ways away. You guys want to skip with me? Come on, let's skip. You're going to skip too. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Doesn't even look like you guys are skipping. <laughs> all right, we made it all the way back up to the front. So anyways, we had a great time today. That was a lot of fun bouncing all around. We played dodgeball, we did walk the wall where I couldn't even make it up the big wall. We jumped all around the big jump area. I even did that wipeout game where I had to jump over that post and then we tried the trapeze, we did the rock climbing wall. I mean, my head is spinning. There was so much we did here today and it was so much fun. I hope you guys had a good time with us. I hope you really enjoyed the Texas ABCs because I know I did. All right, well, I can't wait to see you again, but until next time, yeah. Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, I'm Cowboy Jack, and today I'm really excited. Do you see where we are? Take a look up there. What does that say? Yeah, we're at Play Street Museum in the Woodlands, Texas. They have all sorts of different centers that you can go around and interact and pretend like you're something different and get to learn about all kinds of things and everything is hands-on. So we're gonna touch and feel and look at a whole bunch of stuff. I'm really excited. It's gonna be a whole bunch of fun. Come on, let's go. <laughs> wow, look at this place. It's ginormous in here and it's really well lit so you can see everything really, really good. Wow, well, let's just get to it and check everything out. There's a whole giant bucket of magna tiles. Have you guys ever played with these magnetic tiles before? They're a whole lot of fun. So you, each one of these has magnets around it and they stick together so you could build all kinds of things. I'm not very good at building. I need Cowboy Kate in here with me to build something. But these are really, really cool. You could sit here with your friends and play, build all kinds of structures and buildings, probably even some cars, yeah. There's some wheels right here and you could build like some kind of little cage or something. Wow, that's really fun. But, you know, whenever we take something out and we play with it, we always make sure to put it back up because we wouldn't want to leave a mess. We have fun, we make a mess with the things that we're playing with, but then we put them up so the next person can have fun with them too. Whoa. <laughs> All right, let me put these up. Cause you know what I saw behind me? A food truck. Have you guys ever seen a food truck before? Let's go check it out. Wow, <laughs> look at this, this is so neat. So this says on the fry and it looks like they specialize in hamburgers, french fries, and maybe even some milkshakes. I'm gonna go in there and pretend like I'm the cook. Gotta get a little bit small. Whoa, this is so cool and so unique. Well, they do have ice cream. See, look right here. Whoops, I'm dropping ice cream. So this says home style ice cream and you open it up and there's even some scoops right inside. That is so cool. And see, when you come here with your friends, you could pretend, look at that, an ice cream cone. <laughs> what flavor do you think this is? That could be strawberry, maybe even cotton candy. I'm gonna put this back on the shelf. And see, this would be like if you were at a real food truck, I'd be the cook and you'd come up and tell me what you want. And I could sit here and maybe scoop you some of that ice cream 
or even, let's see. I can make you a hamburger. <laughs> That's really cool. See, look, you could tell me, Cowboy Jack, today I would love a hamburger with meat, maybe a little bit of cheese. I gotta have my pickles and onions. And then that's about all I'd like. So I'll put the bun back on and here's your hamburger. <laughs> that's really fun. All right, well, let me put all this back together and put it back up so I don't leave a mess for anybody. Whoop. Hamburger down low. There's a blender and even a soda fountain right there. What else do we have around here? I mean, there's so much to see. There's a whole lot going on. Look at this, the Woodlands Trolley. That's really cool. So if you live in the Woodlands or if you've ever been to the Woodlands, you'll notice there's these green trolleys driving all around. And what those are is like public transportation that gets you from point A to point B. And this is a replica of one. Wow. Hey, you can even get in here and drive. Look at that. There's a steering wheel and a speedometer right here. Guys, look at this speedometer. So when you're driving, it's a big important job and there's a lot of things to pay attention to, like how fast you're going because there's what you call a speed limit. You don't wanna to drive too fast and there's signs up to tell you how fast you're allowed to go on that road. And you always wanna go by the rules, right? So right here, it shows that Cowboy Jack is driving almost 10 miles per hour. That's a little bit pokey. Hey, that's kind of like how Cowboy Jack drives in real life. <laughs> this trolley is really neat. And there's all kinds of little wooden play toys in here. Like, look at this. Whoop. This is like a castle with a unicorn up front. I don't know how to get him out. There he is. Wow. I mean, he kind of looks like a horse, but you know he's a unicorn because he has this one horn on his head. All right, Mr. Unicorn, let me put you back in your house. Then I knocked this poor guy out. Look at that. <laughs> There's all kinds of things to do. Look at this guy. There's some stairs and he could even just go right down the stairs. If he wanted to, he could come back up, but he better be careful because there's an owl right there watching him. All right. Well, this trolley sure is unique. I like it a lot. And you'll see these in real life if you come to the woodlands because they're all over the place. Well, hey, Cowboy Jack needs to go to the bank for a minute. And that's really convenient because there's a bank right here at Play Street. Let's go in. Whoa. This is just like the real bank. Wait a second, you can come in here and pretend like you're the banker. Sit down at this desk and... Look, there's a keyboard. Because Cowboy Jack the banker has a lot of important transactions to make. Let's see. Yep, all done. Wait, you guys hear that? The phone's ringing. How'd they know I was in the office? Whew. Hello? Yes, this is Cowboy Jack the Banker. How are you today? Oh, that's great. I'm glad you're doing good. You won the lottery and you need to put all that money in the bank? Well, come on in. I'll help you with that. Oh, well, let me see. Yep, $16. Okay, I'll see you later. Wow, <laughs> that's exciting. They won the lottery and they're bringing me $16 to the bank. <laughs> Hold on guys, let me just finish this email real quick. Yes, Cowboy Caden is really funny. Exclamation point. Okay, I'm all done. Wow, what a fun day at the bank. It's been a minute since Cowboy Jack's gone grocery shopping and it's real fun to go grocery shopping. There's a lot to look at, a lot to learn about. You guys wanna go in the grocery store with me? Let's go. Whoa, look at this. I'm gonna grab a shopping cart. You know, I always like to stop and have a healthy snack. So today, let's see what kind of healthy snacks we can find. Oh, there's milk. That's good. Look at this. We've got some strawberries. Greek yogurt. Nothing goes better with strawberries than Greek yogurt. And then Baked veggie chips? That's really cool. 
It looks like there's some vegetables out front. Let's go take a look at those. Whoa, there's a lot of vegetables and fruits out here. Let's take a look at these and talk about them for a minute. Look at this one. Do you guys know what this is? This is a red bell pepper. They're really tasty. Put these in all kinds of different foods. And salads, of course. Bananas? Who likes bananas as much as people do? Monkeys. <laughs> but I really love bananas. You have to peel the skin off and then the fruits inside. And actually, wild bananas have a whole lot of seeds, but the bananas we get at the grocery store don't have any seeds in them. That's good. We've got a cucumber. Cucumbers are really good. You chop them up and put them in a salad. But you know what else comes from cucumbers? Pickles. We just learned about pickles at the, at the hamburger truck. Now, what they do is they cut these up and then they'll pickle them in a solution and then they come out pickled. <laughs> Here's a plum. You guys like plums? Plums are really unique. That's a lot, there's really tasty fruit to them, but you have to watch out because there's a big pit in the middle. A pit is actually the seed of the fruit and plums have a big seed right in the middle. Strawberries. I know a little cowgirl, cowgirl Addison, that really loves strawberries. They're so tasty. You can cut them up into pieces and eat them by themselves or just take a big old bite by yourself. That's a whole lot of fruit, a whole lot of fun stuff, a whole lot of vegetables, like this big carrot. Carrots are really cool. Did you guys know that carrots grow in the ground? So when you're looking at a carrot, it looks like this. When it's actually growing, it's in the earth up to about right here. And then it has some green leaves that stick out the top. And so a farmer knows when he's growing carrots, he can judge by the look of those green leaves coming out of the top, whether the carrot's ready to pick or not. And when you pick it, you pull it out of the ground and it actually has roots coming off of this. They cut those off so we have a nice, shiny, pretty carrot like the ones we like to eat. All right, well, let's get back in the grocery store. Whoa, hey now, who doesn't like waffles? I love waffles. You can't eat waffles without some butter. They have eggs. I mean, there's so much. If you wanted to make lunch, you could grab some fresh bologna. I really like bologna. <laughs> Cowboy Caden's not that big of a fan. And then fresh cut spinach. That's so cool. You can get all of this stuff and then you can come right over here and then you would check out at the cash register. That's really cool. So like this is where you would scan it and you boop. <laughs> and then of course you have to pay. So you add all that up and then you bring in your money and you would pay. I think all of this would cost about $15. So here I have a $5 bill and a $10 bill. So I would give those to the cashier and they would put them inside the cash register and say, okay, you're good to go. <laughs> but you know, since we got all this stuff out and we're not actually going home right now, we probably ought to put it back up, right? Don't want to leave a mess behind. Where does the yogurt go? The yogurt was right over here. This is fun. It's kind of like a puzzle that you have to solve in real time. So I've got veggie chips. Where are the, here they are right here. And then I remember we just grabbed the spinach from over here. The butter goes with the other butter. And then the bologna goes with the lunch meats right here. Waffles right here. Milk. Gotta put the milk out. That milk is so cool. It's got a really funny cow right on the front of it. And then the strawberries go right here with the other strawberries. And then I'm gonna put my basket up. All right, well, I feel like I've got all my grocery shopping done and I've got the basis to make some great meals this week. Hey, cowboys and cowgirls, do you have any pets at home? I do, I have six puppy dogs, but they have a full pet shop in here where we can look at all kinds of pets and they even have a real bearded dragon in here. Let's go take a look at the pet shop. Whoa, this is so cool. There is all kinds of animals in here. Look right over here. I see a lot of different animals. I see two octopuses and a tortoise. I see a blue whale, a hermit crab, and an orca. And then down below, I see two sea turtles. That's really fun. Hey, look, they have some bowls out here. One of those looks like it's for food and one looks like it's for water. I wonder if they have a puppy dog wandering around here. 
look at this. There are puppy dogs. There's a whole lot of different puppy dogs. That's so fun. This looks like kind of a, let me think what kind of dog this is, like an Akita, maybe? I don't know, he's a really good looking dog. He's a whole lot of fun. And then down here, that looks like the Bingo and Rolly puppies. Look at this guy. He's a pug, that's so cool. And he's just like Bingo and Rolly. I can't remember which one's brown, Bingo or Rolly. You guys would know better than me. But check him out, he's really cool. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of puppies. Oh, look. This kind of looks like a German Shepherd puppy. And I have one of those. His name is Mr. Lucky. <laughs> That's so cool. Actually, this guy looks a little bit more like Mr. Lucky. He's more this color. Look at him. He's got this big waggy tail. <laughs> I bet he's excited. Oh. He wants some water. Do you think we should give him some water? Let's let him drink a little bit. Mr. Lucky, don't drink too much. <laughs> That's an inside joke. My boy, Mr. Lux at home, he loves to drink a lot of water. We have to tell him, stop drinking so much water. Even Cowboy Caden helps us out with that. <laughs> All right, puppy dogs. Nice to meet y'all. I hope you have a great day. Look at this guy over here. This is that bearded dragon I was telling you about. Look at him right back there. Wow, have you guys ever seen a bearded dragon before? That's a really exotic lizard. And you know what his name is? Lizzie, because he's a lizard. Lizzie the lizard. That's so neat. And then look over here. There's all kinds of veterinary equipment and grooming equipment because this is a pet shop. You might need to give a pet a haircut. This has three different speeds on it where you would take it and you could give the puppies a buzz cut if you wanted to. And there's also a fur brush. So you could brush them like this and get all that loose hair off. Cowboy Jack has a ton of loose hair at home because we have six puppies. <laughs> and look here. If your puppy was sick, you could listen to his heart. So you would put these on just like, a, this is called a stethoscope. And it's a little too big for me, but you put it on like that and listen to the heart and you could hear their heartbeat. It's really funny. You could also use it to listen to their stomach. Whoa! And there's all kinds of tools. If the puppy needed some kind of medicine, you could give it to him in a syringe like this. That's really fun. And then this is important. Puppy dogs have big, big claws. Well, some of them do. Not all of them have big claws, but all of them have fingernails that need to be cut from time to time. And these are uh, trimmers for their fingernails, just like that. I'm not very good at doing it. I usually let the vet do it. But this is the vet right here. And there's all kinds of medicines like this healing ointment for pets. Dog and cat shampoo. Nutritious niblets. So if they did good at the vet or good getting a haircut, you could give them a little snack. Wow. And then right over here, there's even a, I think there's a dog washing station. So you could bring them here and give them a bath, get them all soaked up. And then this is the drying station. There's towels and everything where you could dry them off and make sure their new haircut is looking tip top shape. <laughs> Boy, that pet shop was a whole lot of fun. But you know, every once in a while, you gotta go home and take a load off, kinda kick back and relax. And I found this house right here and there's a dog right in the window. Look at that guy. You guys wanna name him with me? Let's go meet him. Whoa, hey pup. Boy, he's a really big dog. He kind of looks like a golden retriever, maybe a lab. I don't know, I'm not good with dog breeds because I love mutts. But this guy, he looks like his name is Charlie, doesn't it? Hey Charlie, what's going on, buddy? What? He just wants to look out the window. He doesn't even want to talk to me. Fine, we'll go back in the window. All right, we'll leave Charlie alone. He's had a long day. <laughs> But look at this, this is like a regular house. There's a whole kitchen in here where you can cook yourself a meal. We've got mustard and mayonnaise. Look at this. You don't wanna squirt out the mustard too far. And here's the ketchup. Wow, <laughs> that's really fun. And salt and pepper shakers, if you needed to season your food. Cowboy Jack's not a very good cook. They even have hot sauce. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Don't, you don't want to use too much hot sauce so you can make it really, really spicy. 
Our friends to the east of us over in Louisiana love that stuff. Wow, and I bet this is the pantry right over here. Yep, they keep a lot of different food. Wait a second. You guys see what that says? That says, happy birthday. Boy, that's really neat. So this is a birthday cake. I don't even know whose birthday it is, but I'm sure it's somebody's birthday out there right now. So just in case, happy birthday. <laughs> All right, well, I don't wanna go through their pantry too much. Here's a coffee maker too. Come in here and make another cup. There was already some on the table, but this is like a, a uh, one cup coffee maker. Those are really fun. All right, well, this house is so neat. There was so much to do in here. And you could sit down at the table and relax and enjoy your tea with your friends. Or we'll come in here and cook something just like we talked about. And you know what else they have? Cleaning tools. This would be like a duster. You know, it's important to clean. You have to keep things clean or it's not gonna be as fun to play with them anymore. So these dusters are really cool. You use them to dust all around and make sure there's not dust anywhere. Like up here on top of the pictures, you dust all around and make sure everything is really clean and no dust. And then of course it's important to uh, sweep. There's a little broom right here. And you always wanna, every time we come inside, we drag in dirt and grime from the, the streets and the pavement that we walk on. And so you wanna dust every, I mean sweep every once in a while to make sure the floor stays clean. So you just sweep up like this and then use the dust pan to catch all of that and put it in the garbage. That's really cool. It's important to clean. You always wanna make sure you're keeping your room or your play space or even just your house clean. And it takes everybody to chip in to keep a place clean because keeping it clean is real, uh, it's a big job. It'll wear you out. So if everybody does their part, it's a lot easier. Wow, what a cool house. Boy, there's so much to see. You can kind of get lost in here. Wait a second, what does this say right here? You guys know what that says? Let's see, it says doctor's office. And another cool thing is this big red cross symbol right here. That's always used to symbolize like a doctor and the American Red Cross uses it as well, of course. But anyways, this is a doctor's office and we can go in there and take a look around. Whoa, so it looks like we've got a couple of different kinds of doctors in here. I definitely see a dentist, because look at these big old chompers. Those are huge. But there's also an eye chart. That's cool. If you've ever been to the eye doctor before, you know they ask you to read and see how far down the chart you can get. And if you make it all the way to the bottom, that means you've got really good eyesight. But also over here, they're looking at x-rays. These are like pictures of your bones underneath your skin and they tell you if you've got any problems, like maybe you broke a finger or a leg or an arm or something like that. And these pictures help show you that. Over here, we've got some glasses. And that's really cool because once you go to the eye doctor and you read your way down the eye chart, the eye doctor could tell you, you have a little bit of a vision problem and we could clear that up for you with some glasses. Cowboy Jack actually wears contacts, but a lot of people would prefer to have just regular old glasses. And they're really cool too because there's all kinds of different styles and colors and shapes. I mean, look at these, these are bright orange. Those are, I could even see better through these. That's so cool. But they have all kinds of different colors that you could come and, and try on. But if you were going to the dentist, he would tell you that you need to brush your teeth for two minutes, twice a day, and you use a toothbrush just like this. Look at that, let's brush those teeth really good. And you know, they always teach you to kind of go in a small circular motion. You want to make sure you get your whole tooth too. You have to get the sides, the top, the inside, all of those things. Yep. Really good to keep your teeth so, so clean because you use them for everything. I mean, you use them to chew food, uh, but you know what else? It's one of the first things people notice about you whenever you look at them. You might be saying hi to somebody and say hi, but if you have a big piece of lettuce from your lunch in your teeth, they'd be going, ooh, look at that. <laughs> and so we always wanna make sure we keep our teeth nice and clean and take care of them really good. Cause you get two sets of teeth in your lifetime. First, you have your baby teeth. And unfortunately, we all lose those. They don't stick around for very long. But after that, we get our adult teeth. And once we have our adult teeth, that's all we get. 
So you have to take good care of them because if you lose them, you don't have any more teeth. <laughs> I mean, you can always get dentures or implants or things like that. But as far as real teeth goes, you get one shot at adult teeth. So you take good, good care of them. And look at this right here. This is an AED. That's a machine that they use for if somebody has an emergency with their heart, there's a couple of things in here that you put on somebody to help their heart get started again. That's real important. And you'll see these almost everywhere nowadays. They have them at shopping malls, in the grocery store, definitely at the doctor's office. Wow. Well, there's all kinds of things to do here. I see an, a discovery rug over here. And you know what's on the discovery rug? One of my favorite, favorite things. You guys wanna take a look at this? Dinosaurs, wow, I love dinosaurs. There's a big T-Rex right there, he's huge. Look at that T-Rex. But they just have buckets and buckets of different dinosaurs. I don't know what this, what? watch out Mr. Dinosaur. I don't know what this guy's name is. He kind of looks like a Spinosaurus, but I could be wrong. He's got really big teeth, kind of like an alligator. Here's another T-Rex. I know T-Rex. <laughs> He's really cool. And then of course we've got a Triceratops. Triceratops because Tri stands for three and he's got one, two, three horns on his head. And this guy, everybody knows this guy. You guys know who this is? I'm pretty sure this is Velociraptor. There's a whole bunch of dinosaurs in here and even a volcano. Whoa, look at that. We can look inside the volcano. So do you guys know what a volcano is? They're really, really neat. What it is is, so the earth is a big ball of rock and stone and all these things, and it's compressed into layers. The innermost layer is lava of the earth because there's so much pressure, all the weight of the earth turns the rock so hot that it actually melts into a liquid form. Whenever there's a volcano, that's because the lava found a way to make it all the way to the surface of the earth. And it pushes along a fault line. It'll create like a mountain. And over time, it'll vent all the way up to the outside. And that's what a volcano is when, whenever the lava finds a way to get out of that mountain. They have all these books about volcanoes. We could sit here and learn all about volcanoes. And see, like I was saying, this is kind of a quick picture of it. See, lava down in the earth and it finds a way up the mountain and to the outside. Whoa, look at that. Let's do that again in slow motion. You guys ready? Whoa, that's a volcanic eruption right there. That is crazy. This was a volcano in Iceland. Iceland's a really cool place. It's called Iceland, but it's actually not all ice. <laughs> Take a look at that board right there. That looks really fun. Let's take a look at that. So these look like a bunch of different gears and you can move them around on the board to create some sort of device or machine. I'm gonna line these up. Let's use a couple of small ones. Let's see here. Look at that. So you can spin this one and it turns all those gears in a different direction. That is so fun, and you can make all kinds of different machines with these gears. This one's really complicated. This one's maybe a little bit too close together. But look at that, this has two gears touching it. And so when you spin this, those spin in the same direction, just like that. That is so neat. Do you guys like trains? I love trains, and you know what I saw over here? Look right there. That's a huge train table. I mean, there are so many tracks and everything right over here. Let's go take a look around. I mean, here's a tunnel through the forest. There's a switching yard. That changes the directions of the trains and they could go into these different rooms in the station. Look at this, what does this do? Oh wow, that's like a crane that goes down and picks things up off of the trains. I don't know what this station is called, but there's a lot of tunnels and a lot of activities. There's even a tower over here, like a parking garage. 
That is so cool. Oh, look, this is like the ocean and this would be like a tanker ship on the water. That's so cool. Wow, so I bet this tanker could be, well, let's get this little guy back on here. Anyway, this is like the ocean and this boat would be going around and it needs to come into port. And let's see if it could offload some cargo. Hmm. So we could come right here, lower this crane's arm, and look at that, it picked it right up. That is so cool. And then we could let this train come over and get right there. And it would, whoops, I'm not very good at it. But look, it dropped the cargo right on that train and now he can take it to wherever it needs to go. And then if he needed to load back up at the ship, he could just come right over here, let the crane pick it up and put it back on the boat. Got to get that boat lined up. That's a big job. Boy, steering a big ship can't be easy work. All right, and off the ship goes. Whoops, he dropped his cargo. Let's help him out. And then I bet this bridge can move up just like that. That's a drawbridge. And then the ship could go underneath. Boy, that's really cool. Hey, cowboys and cowgirls. You know what I saw over here? A table that has a bunch of dinosaur bones on it. Have you guys ever looked at dinosaur bones before? It's one of my favorite hobbies. I love arrowheads and Indian artifacts and dinosaur bones. So let's sit down at this table and take a look at these. Wow. Look at this. This is like a scientist's table and scientist tools. I mean, look at this. <laughs> This is like a pair of tweezers that we could pick up dino bones with. Let's see here. I see a Triceratops bones. Let's pick him up and so we can take a look at him together. I'm gonna move the rest of these guys out of the way. All right, so now that we've got our Triceratops set up, you guys wanna look through the magnifying glass and take a look up close at all of his parts? See, look, he's got a long, long tail with all these different segments on it. That's kind of like the human backbone. And then over here, you can even see that he's still got one horn on his head. And there's his ribs and everything else. He's got these big old legs, that's cool. You guys wanna take a look at another dinosaur? Let me see another fan favorite that we've got. Ooh, here we go. You guys know whose bones that is? Come on guys, you know who that is. That's Stegosaurus. Wow, let's take a close look at Stegosaurus. He's really cool. He has these big bony plates on his back that served as a protection device to scare off predators because Stegosaurus actually couldn't move very fast in real life. And then he's got these few spines on the back of his tail. That's so cool. <laughs> All right, well, that was a whole lot of fun. But you know what else you can do here at Play Street? You can make slime. You guys want to make some slime with me? It could be a whole lot of fun. Let's go over here to this activity table where we can make some slime together. They have a whole kit set up for us. So this says pet slime kit. Wow, pet slime, I don't even know what that is, but we're gonna find out. Gotta open this up. All right, so here on the front it says pet slime, right? We've already covered that. On the back, there's a list of instructions and we're gonna go step by step to make some really fun slime. So first off, let me get all of our ingredients out. All right, let me see, let me see. So first, we have this, let's find out what this is. This is a container of glue. So I'm gonna open it up. Whoa, okay, the glue is open. Next it says, Add the baking soda and stir with a craft stick. So this is the baking soda right here. I'm gonna open it up and pour it on in there. All right, now that's all in there. I'm gonna stir it around with a stick just like it said to do. Make sure it's good and mixed up. All right, I think that's mixed well. Now it says, Add the fun mix-in and stir. Well, I think the fun mix-in has to be these little creatures right here. Let's get those out of the bag and let's talk about what they are. Because this is the pet slime. 
Look at that, there's a little bitty puppy dog. That's so cool. He kind of looks like Air Bud, doesn't he? <laughs> I know Air Bud was a really fun movie when I was growing up. I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. I think they've made some new ones. And then who do we have here? That looks like Nemo, right? Yeah, that's a clownfish, just like Nemo. And then, whoa, a little bitty tiny chameleon. Boy, chameleons are really cool. I can't wait to put them in my slime. So I put them in. Oh, and this stuff too. Let's see if I can get this bag open. All right, let me just pour these in. Get down in the slime. Okay, close enough. Now what do we do? Stir it. Looks like it's pretty well mixed. Our pets are in there and they're hanging out in the slime, having a good time. Now, add the liquid, liquid activator and stir. So this is the liquid activator. Let's pour it on in. And let's get to stirring. Ew, it looks so slimy. Look at that. Just gotta keep stirring until it turns into a really good slime. Woo! Look at that. Now it says stir as much as possible with the craft stick, which is what we're doing. But eventually we're just gonna have to pick it up and mix it with our hands. I think that's about where we're at. Let's see here, just give it a few more stirs. All right, well, let's pick it up. Ew, it's so slimy, guys. Ew. <laughs> Look at that. That's really cool how all those things are mixed in with it. Wow. Look, I pulled the slime apart and I found Nemo. I found Nemo, just like finding Nemo. <laughs> and there's my buddy, the puppy dog. We gotta find the chameleon. I haven't seen him in here yet. Mr. Chameleon, there he is. He's hanging out in the slime. I know what he's thinking about the slime. He's wondering if there's any bugs to eat. Because chameleons lo love to eat insects. So this slime is really, really fun and really cool because it's squishy, it's kind of sticky, definitely gooey gooey, and you can stretch it out really far. Look at that. Whoa, don't let it touch the table. <laughs> wow, and again, here we are. I found Nemo one more time. <laughs> Whoops, ripped it in half. But that's cool because all you have to do is mix it back together. You think slime bounces? You guys want to find out if slime bounces? Let's see. Kind of bounces. Not great like a bouncy ball, but it does bounce. That's really fun. All right. Well, boy, this slime was a whole lot of fun. We have to make sure, what do we do after we make a mess? We always clean up. And this is convenient because it came in this bag. So we would just put all of our garbage right in this bag and that way it can easily be thrown away. All right, guys, wow, that was really fun pet slime. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Boy, we've had a great time here today at Play Street Museum in the Woodlands, Texas. There is so much to see and so much to do. We did the food truck, the trolley, the bank. The bank was really fun. The grocery store, the pet store, that was fun. We went in a house, the doctor's office. We learned all about dinosaurs and the train table. We even made some slime. This was such a great time. There's so much to do. And everything here, you get hands on. So you can come here and use your imagination and just have a fantastic imaginary playtime. All right, but until next time, Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, I'm Cowboy Jack and today I'm really excited. Do you guys see where we're at? This place is absolutely incredible. That's right, we're at Kids Party Planet right here in Lake Jackson, Texas. 
Boy, I just love Lake Jackson, Texas. It is such a cool, fun little town, and we've got a lot to see and a lot to do. So we're gonna explore this whole play place today, and we're gonna have a whole lot of fun, but we're also gonna find some farm animals. There's some farm animals hidden around in here. We're gonna find those and learn all about them. You guys wanna start exploring with me? Look, I mean, right when you first come in the door, there's all these cool activities. Like this thing right here, you can jump on it and bounce around and get all crazy. But they also have this really cool off-road Jeep. And this isn't just any regular off-road Jeep. You can get in here and drive, and then when you're done, slide off of the back. Wow. I mean, this whole place is made up to be like a space exploration adventure. Look at that spaceman up there in his spacesuit. That is so cool. You can come right over here and start climbing the wall. See how high you can... Wait a second. What is that? You guys see that? This is a really cool farm animal. This is a lamb. Wow, sheep are incredible animals to have on a farm because they bring so much value to the farm. Just for example, their hair, also known as wool, can be sheared off in the summertime and it can be used to make all kinds of different things. Wow, I just love sheep and they make really fun noises like bah. <laughs> Anyhow, I better put this guy back. Let's keep exploring, but wow, this rock wall is so cool. There's all kinds of colors on it, all these different handholds and footholds for you to grab onto. Like this one right here is yellow. This one is red. This one is green. Ooh, oh look, this one right here, this one's blue. That's Cowboy Caden's favorite color. That is so cool. Wow, they even have this cool climbing tower right here. It's a little small for Cowboy Jack, but you could get in there and climb all around. Boy, this thing is so unique and fun. It makes you look like you're actually climbing a big rock boulder, maybe like in outer space, because we're here at Kids Party Planet. Wow. They have giant Connect Four. That is so cool. Connect Four is a really fun game where you drop these things in here and you try to get four in a row, and if you do, you win. I don't want to play right now because we've got so much to look at, but these things are so fun. All right. Oh, wow, they have a whole area for the smaller kids. That is so cool. You know what? I didn't even realize this, but you don't want to be stomping around in here with your cowboy boots on. You better take those things off. Let me take them off real quick. Ooh. All right. Boy, these cowboy boots really get stuck on there sometimes. All right, let's go explore this small area right here. Wow, it looks like there's a whole bunch to do in here. Look at this. This thing looks like the very hungry caterpillar in its legs. Has all these colorful feet, but that's a tunnel you can climb all through. Of course, they got all kinds of seesaws in here. I mean, alligator seesaw. <laughs> it's really cool. Whoa! This alligator's kind of rowdy. But you know what? I think I saw him in Oyster Creek because we're down here in Lake Jackson, Texas. And they got a lot of alligators down there, so you got to be careful when you're out exploring. Wow, they have all this cool stuff. You guys want to go up here with me? All right, let's check it out. Wow. <laughs> this is really fun. Don't be bashful, guys. You need to crawl through this tunnel and then I'll meet you on the other side. All right, good job. Oh, you want me to come through there too? I think I'm just gonna stay here and take a nap for a minute. Oh, I'm just kidding, I'll be right there. Whoa. Cowboy Jack coming through. Woo. We made it to the other side. Hey, there's a really cool slide here. Let's check that out. All right, are you guys ready? I'm gonna go down on the count of three. One, two, three. Woo! Wow, that was a great slide. You guys come down too. Come on, don't be scared. Wow, that was really fast. There's another slide on this side. Oh, wait a second. Look what we found here. Guys, take a look at that. These are great farm animals. This is a big mama pig, and this is a little bitty baby pig. Boy, pigs are really important to have on the farm. 
they can do a lot of things for you. So, of course, they have babies and they, they produce pork. Some people call them hogs, boar hogs. We also have wild hogs here in Texas, but you wouldn't keep those on your farm. They could actually do damage to your crops and things like that. But domesticated pigs are great animals and even make great pets. They make a really cool noise. You guys want to hear what it sounds like? Yeah, can you try that at home? All right, well, let's keep on exploring. Let's go on up here. I saw something really cool. Woo! <laughs> now, this is like a balance beam. I'm gonna go on over that. Woo! A little bit short for a cowboy, but I made it. And there's another really cool slide over here. All right. Now, I was thinking it'd be pretty fun if we slid down together, wouldn't it? All right, whoa, you guys are right there with me. All right, you ready? One, two, three, yee-haw! Woo, whoa. <laughs> Cowboy Jack took a little tumble at the end of that one. I almost ran into this boat right here. This is cool. This is like a little miniature canoe. Boy, you could sit in here and pretend like you were out on the sea, paddling along, doing your thing on the open ocean. Or you could be out here fishing. Oh, I got one. This is really fun. Whew. Do you guys see that? I don't know, it's kind of far away. Get in there close. Take a look at that. This is a goat. Goats are really cool animals. They're great to have on the farm because they can actually produce milk and all sorts of things. They're really great companions too. They're pretty funny and they'll eat almost anything, so you gotta watch out for that. Sometimes when I'm walking around with goats, they'll actually start nibbling on my pants legs or my blue jeans, and I gotta say, hey goat, that's not food. <laughs> but they're really fun to have around, and there's all kinds of different breeds. Just yesterday, I was hanging out with some Nigerian dwarf goats, but I've also seen La Mancha goats, which are known for their goat's milk, and goat's milk is really good for you and used for a ton of different things. So they're great to have on the farm. Wow, have you guys ever played tic-tac-toe? Come look over here. This is a whole tic-tac-toe board. So this is really cool. You can spin these into the position. Oh, wait a second. This rooster almost got me. Boy, roosters are great to have on the farm, just like all chickens. So chickens are important because they give us eggs almost every day. And they're really, we love eating eggs. They're really healthy for you. And these are really fun. A rooster will always be your natural alarm clock because first thing in the morning, they like to stand up and go cock a doodle doo <laughs> And it'll wake everybody up. It's pretty loud. So if you live close to somebody, you might not want to have a rooster, but out on a farm, they're fantastic to have. Anyways, if do you guys know how to play tic-tac-toe? The whole goal of the game is to line up three in a row. So like right there, one, two, three, you win or if you were even to get it this way. Right there. Diagonal, you won. Or you can go straight up and down. There's a whole bunch of different ways to win, but the whole goal is to get three of them in a row. And you can be O's or you can be X's. It's a really fun game to play. All right, well, there is so much more to see here. Boy, look at this huge play structure over here. It looks like there's some ginormous slides, a couple of balance beams, some things hanging from the ceiling, a twisty slide. I mean, we got to check this out, right? Come on, guys. Wow. This is going to be a whole lot of fun. Now, this is for the little bit bigger kids, so it's probably a little bit more suited for me. These are really fun because they have all these colors. Like I'm standing on this stair right now that's yellow. And then right here, these spaces are what color? Yeah, they're orange. Come on, let's go. Wow, I don't know which way to go now that we're up here. Hold on a second. I found another farm animal. This right here is a donkey. Boy, donkeys are really important to farms. They have many, many purposes. They're great animals. Not only are they good companions, but they also are incredible livestock protectors. A lot of people don't know that about donkeys, but they don't like when coyotes or anything mean comes around and they'll actually get them away from the rest of the herd. So anyways, while donkeys will protect the herd and protect, you know, keep predators off of your farm, 
They're also great pack animals. They can carry incredible loads of, of heavy stuff. If you have to move something around where you can't use an actual vehicle, you could pack it onto a donkey or use some sort of uh, device to pull it behind the donkey. They're really, really strong animals. Wow, they are really cool. I just love donkeys. There's this big old slide there, but I kind of want to go down this tunnel. You guys want to go through this tunnel first? Come on, let's go. Whoa, I made it to the other side. Come on, guys. Wow, this is like a cool area in here. This is like a, a space cave, almost like the International Space Station. We are here at Kids Party Planet, so this makes sense that this would look a lot like some kind of space cave. Let's go down here and explore a little bit. Whoa. Golly. You guys come in. You're being a little bit pokey. Come on. Oh, wow. I found another farm animal here. This is really cool. Quack, quack. Yeah, that's a duck. So ducks are great to have on the farm just like chickens because they produce eggs and they're really good. They actually control the the weeds and kind of icky stuff that grows on a pond. So that's why farmers keep ducks around to produce eggs and kind of help make sure the pond doesn't get overgrown with all kinds of gross stuff. They're good to have around. Wow, I see like a space lookout area down there. You guys want to go check that out? I think I'm actually going to have to take my cowboy hat off for this one. Hey, are you guys laughing at my hair? I knew it. You're always laughing at my hair. Well, I'm gonna leave my cowboy hat right here while we go check that out, because it looks a little bit tight right through here. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> wow, that was crazy. Now you guys are gonna have to do it too. <laughs> All right, now check out this lookout space bubble. You can get in there and look down below, and say, hi, mom. You can see everything at Kids Party Planet from up here in the lookout spot. This is so cool. Man, there is just so much to see and explore. Hey, you guys are still laughing at my hair, aren't you? I better go get my cowboy hat back. Whoa! Woo! I made it again. Now I get my cowboy hat back. Let me put this back on. You guys got to laugh at my hair for a long time that time. <laughs> All right, now we have a couple of different slides we need to check out. You guys want to go down the loop-de one first? I think it's going to be really fun. Come on. Wow, this is the beginning of a big, big slide. And you know what else? I found some other farm animals. These aren't always just farm animals. You might have them at home. But this is a puppy dog and a kitty cat. I just love dogs and cats. They're such great critters, you know? They can make amazing pets and companions and, and do all kinds of things for you. But on the farm, dogs like this, especially something like this, like a border collie, boy, they can really work cattle and make your job a lot easier. They're really good to have on the farm. They keep all the pests away, help you round up the cows and do all kinds of stuff. And then cats, <laughs> cats have a lot of uses on the farm too. You know, cats are naturally curious and they love to climb all around in barns. So if you're storing your feed for your horses and stuff in the barn, these cats can help keep the mice away. They're really important. Wow, well this is a big twisty slide, so it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. I'm gonna go down first and then you guys come down after me, okay? Let me see. Old cowboy can get in here. All right, I'll see you guys at the bottom. Woo! Wow. All right, come on guys. There it is. <laughs> You guys quit playing around in there. Come on out here. <laughs> All right, well, we made it to the bottom of that slide. You guys are probably a little bit better fit for that slide than me, big old Cowboy Jack, because I got going really fast and it got kind of sketchy there at the end, but I had a blast and now we're down here in the ball pit. Boy, there are so many balls in here. You can come in here with your friends and have all kinds of fun. Hey, are you guys throwing balls at me too? Wait a second. <laughs> wow. All right, enough horsing around. Let's see if we can go find some more farm animals. <laughs> now, there's that one other slide up here. You guys want to go up there? I think we can climb up this way. 
Wow, I'm making my way back up to the top. This is really cool. Hey, it's like I'm coming out of a spaceship right here. This is like the hatch and I'm coming all the way up. Wow, well, let's go find our way to that really cool slide. I know there's one around here somewhere. Here we go. Wow, now this slide is pretty wide. I think we could go down together and have a pretty good time. What do you guys think? Now, let's get on this green slide and go on down. All right, you wanna to count together? We always do. Let's go one, two, three, and then yeehaw. One, two, three, yeehaw! Whoa, yeah! That was a really fun slide, wow! All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Wow, that was a really cool play structure, but there's even more back here. Like, wow, they have all these cool little kitchens and little cafes that you can play with. And there's even a big tree that you can go inside. This is so cool. I've always wanted to climb inside. Wait a second. I found a really famous farm animal right here. Here, let me come around there. Do you guys know what farm animal this is? This is a Jersey cow, also known as a dairy cow. These cows, farmers use to make a lot of milk. You'll know it's a Jersey cow because they have these black and white spots. These are incredible animals to have on the farm because they produce a lot of milk and we use a lot of milk. Butter, cheese, all kinds of stuff is made from milk. And of course, we just drink a lot of it. It's really good for your bones and full of calcium. Put this cow back here. But boy, take a step back and look at this big old tree you can climb in. Wow, and because this is Kids Party Planet, they have an actual rocket you can climb in. I'm gonna go on a secret mission. I'm gonna go right in here. Wow. Getting ready for liftoff in here. This is so cool. You could come in here and do a whole space exploration. You guys wanna come in here and look out the windows and see what you can see? It's a pretty spacious spaceship. Look up, there's all kinds of things you can see. Wow. Oh, hey, it's a mark. I'm just kidding, it's me, Cowboy Jack. This is so cool. You guys are look like you're having a blast in there in the spaceship. But there's even more to see. I saw this really cool car over here. Look at this old car, this is so neat. And what, wait a second. This is our last farm animal right here. This, of course, is a horse, the cowboy's best friend. Boy, horses were brought to the United States from the Spanish a long, long time ago. And it's one, it, for the longest time, it was the primary mode of transportation. You can ride a horse for a long time and they're a great companion animal. They'll get you from point A to point B. And they're actually good listeners. You can talk to them a lot. I love horses. Anyhow, look at this thing right here. This is a really cool Dow car. So that's funny that it's a Dow car because here we are in Lake Jackson, Texas, and Lake Jackson is home to one of the largest petrochemical facilities in the U.S., Dow Chemical Company. They do a lot for this town because almost everybody down here works for them. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna sit in this thing. Here we go, you can sit in here with your buddies and pretend like you're driving down the road in this beautiful classic right here. Wow, this is a cool car. It's actually really soft too, it's kind of squishy. That is so cool. Wow, what a cool adventure we've had today. I mean, look at all these farm animals we've found. Here they are. The goat, the pig, the sheep, the rooster, the cat, the dog, the duck, the donkey, and the horse. Wow, all these farm animals I'd say we got to learn a good bit today about all the animals you'd find on a farm right here in the U.S. of A. There's a lot of really great animals and it was a whole lot of fun learning about them. But I had a lot of fun exploring this huge play structure. I mean, what an incredible place for kids right here in Lake Jackson, Texas. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Wow, well, we've had a great time. I've had nothing but laughs and fun the whole time. I crawled, I slid, I scooted, I sneaked through some things. We went on a space shuttle. We did all kinds of stuff. My head is spinning. Wow, I need to cool. Hey, wait a second. Are you guys laughing at my hair again? Okay, I'll put on my hat. 
Anyhow, thanks for coming with us on this amazing adventure here today at Kids Party Planet in Lake Jackson, Texas. I know I had a blast and I really hope you did too. Make sure you keep following along with us because we go on a lot of adventures and I want you to have even more fun with me. But until next time I see you, yeah!